So what other things at the Ash meeting that are you, um, are, you, are you seeing that kind of excite you about uh, what we're thinking about in mantle cell lymphoma? The more we learn, we have made a lot of progress. And I think we are looking at mantle cell lymphoma. We ought to look at mantle cell lymphoma in a little bit more radical way, in a way, to try to see exactly what you're pointing at. Can we bring real innovation up front and really try to build up on what we think has been the better default over the years to try to get a better outcome in this patient? So we'll see some additional data in maintenance rituximab, for example, after transplant. And in a disease where even when you achieve a really good response with high dose therapy consolidation up front, we can still see the curve falling and patient relapsing. So once again, can we build up on uh, trying to prevent this recurrence of disease? And rituximab shows a significant advantage in that setting even after high dose therapy and transplant. This had been shown before in the elderly setting after our shop in the randomized trial in Europe where not only was a re reduction of the risk of relapse but there was a benefit to overall survival. So in a disease that is chemo resistant the more you can build early on to decrease the relapse I think the more benefit you're going to get. And the more we start to have non-chemo drugs that can be given in a kind of very long maintenance period the more issues like transplantation itself come into question. Do you see the potential for these drugs eventually replacing autologous transplant? Or do you see these being very effective ways of us getting our patients to transplant? I think in the frontline setting, as I mentioned, it's going to be in a younger population that's more like a consolidation slash targeted maintenance based on MRD. In the uh, non-high uh, dose chemotherapy fit patient, it's going to be really potentially replacing chemotherapy. Uh, as we move forward. Sure. So all in all, a very exciting time. I in think it's the best time to be uh, even more creative in mental cell lymphoma and continue to do better. Sure. So what you're hearing then at Ash this year, a great deal of new and emerging data on the use uh, particularly of these chemo-free regimen approaches, major advances uh, for our patients with mantle cell lymphoma uh, and a very exciting time for, uh, for our patients with, those, with this disease.